hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to use loom to do a screen recording okay so what you want to do is to visit the loom website here we are the loom website so if you are not yet registered to um, the loom website you have to register for you to have an access to um your loom page okay so once you are here the next thing you want to do is to click on this video icon okay so this is what you have now you can see that this uh you can see this video icon and the mic the microphone icon they are both on so you can see the video is on this is on this is the video it's on that is if you are going to do a screen recording now the, the screen recorded and also your face will be showing here okay so you can put this off by clicking on this icon so it's it goes off you can see so when you click it again it comes on this is it it comes on again so the same thing with the mic so but you don't want to um you don't want to put the mic off because you need to um speak while you make your video so that your audience can actually hear or um, your video will just have um, an audio so you don't need to keep this off this should be kept on okay so then when you are done with this setting you can then click on start recording now for the free loom account you have a limitation for your uh, recording time which is five minutes so you have five minutes limits okay so you can't you can't exceed five minutes limits while doing your your recording so you have five minutes but for the paid version it's actually um unlimited so you go ahead and click on start recording so when you click on start recording this window comes up so what you have here you have microsoft edge tab you have window and you have entire screen now if you are using this this first one which is microsoft edge tab it means that your recording will be limited to only this tab only this tab only this tab okay your record will be limited to only this tab it means that when you navigate to another tab on this same window it will be recorded also when you leave this window other things will be recorded then secondly we have this window now when you are when you choose this window okay now this shows this this, this means that um you can only capture what is on this window the tabs so this tab you can create more tabs on this window so you are working just limited you are, you are, you are working just um you know based on this window so it means that if you exit this window then the recording will be captured so you're just limited to just this window all the tabs on this window now thirdly we have the entire screen now this entire screen when you are going to use this entire screen it means that everything will be captured both the tab the window and when you exit this um this uh, window every other thing will be captured everything you do on your system will be captured that's the meaning of this entire screen everything you do on your system will be captured so i prefer to use the entire screen so that when i'm doing my recording i can actually navigate and get everything captured okay so once you are choosing this one then you click on this screen click on it you can see when i click on it this thing became blue so i can now go ahead to share and i click on share okay so i have this so now my recording has started okay so i will choose i can choose to actually hide this or move it i choose to move it anywhere or choose to um to to hide it if i stop sharing the recording will stop so i have to just hide i can just hide it so it's gone okay so my video is on so i'm making my video you can see it's reading here now you can see if i click on this delete okay the the, the, the recording stops and it will be saved i can pause the recording then play again and continue i can stop the recording once i stop the recording it will be saved all right so but when i delete it it will not be saved okay so this is the process of making the video so then let's now click on stop to stop the video okay so we click on stop
So once we click on, click on stop, the video will be saved. Okay, so the video is being saved. You can see the progress, it's been saved. Okay, so you see it's saved now, it's done, it's saved. So I can go ahead to edit the name of my video. Okay, you can see here. So I can edit, I can go ahead to edit this. Let's name it my first okay okay i click on enter i see this is now the name of my video my first loom video so you see i have edited my my video title okay so then after doing this now i can play my video from here so now my recording has started okay so i could choose i can choose to actually hide this or move it i choose to move it anywhere or choose to um to okay so you can see that so this is my recording so now after doing this i just want to go ahead to click on this loom icon i click on the loom icon so it takes me to my my dashboard then this video i can share it if i want to share this video i click on this copy link i copy the link link copied so i can share the link with somebody so once they click on the link then they have access to my video if i want to download the, the video to my system or to my phone my system my system i click on this i highlight then you can see i can choose to delete this video from here i can choose to download this video you can see download video okay so i can choose to duplicate it i can choose to archive the video i can choose to move the video i can choose to rename the video okay then i can choose to share the video okay so this is it about making video on loom so i hope it was well explained uh, please if you have not subscribed to my channel i'd like you to hit the subscribe channel so that whenever i make new videos you get notified and if also if this video has actually impacted you i'd like you to hit the like button and also drop a comment for now, I'll say thanks for watching.